This month, we are celebrating Craig Wirth's 50 years in broadcasting with a look back at his stories during his time as a reporter here at the network and its stations in New York and Los Angeles. Tonight, from his library of 5,000 stories, Craig is here in the studio with a very special slice of life view of Utah. Craig? Oh my goodness, there's so many special moments from looking at Utah, but one that I know many of us baby boomers will always remember is eating at Bill and Nata's at about two in the morning. You found everyone there. It was a favorite of Governor Huntsman, an all-night road crew. Well, even those of us who weren't quite ready to go home yet. No, and I never ate the special brains and eggs. Thank goodness few did. This story aired in 1988. Everything else seems to have changed. Bill and Nattis has not. It's midnight, February 1988. It could be midnight in 1952. The eggs are still cooked the same way. The hash browns are still home cut. And the booths are still filled with the after midnight crowd. Above the pie case, you still find the word please. And above that, you find Nada and Bill. I need a sausage and a BLT on and with, a biscuits and gravy. Bill is also still here, just after midnight, most every night, as are Mabel and Brubaker, the cooks. Bill's almost like my dad. When I started out, I wasn't nothing. I have a lot of respect for the man. Yes, everything else seems to have changed. Bill and Nattis did not. Bill says he wouldn't know how to run a modern, pre-packaged, pre-measured fast food franchise. I know what I know, and that's, I stick with what I do know. And That's why it's ruled the midnight hours on this corner since World War II. We've kept it the same way. I don't know as we could change it anyway. And The customers say this isn't true. There have been big changes. Well, he's moved the pinball machine on us. Uh, he used to sit right there, and he moved it down there. That's about the biggest change, huh? Well, he cut that slot in the counter right there one night. Yes, it's the kind of place that you can push L8 on the jukebox and get the Tennessee Waltz. I tried to get this music, this older music on here for years and years, and I finally got some of these they call the oldies. The walls are repainted often, except for the murals. The most famous is Bill on Nada's horse. Nada passed away years ago. Bill says she created it. He just worked. She also created the house special. It's the only place I know of that serves brains and eggs 24 hours a day. I had never tried to have brains and eggs. I'm like the bartender. I sell it, but I haven't eaten them. It's not the biggest seller. Eggs are 30 dozen each Friday night. Eggs, Bill, Mabel, Brubacher. And when Bill is gone, he will let them all keep it going, for it's a family. So, you know, like these people have worked for you all these years, you can't just say, whoa. It's the old way places used to be. So it's now 3 in the morning at Bill and Nada's. For the past 40 years, that means it's time for some eggs and hash browns. I'm Craig Worth, KTVX, 4 News. Who was that young guy? <laughs> Bill and Nada's. It was not Bill and Nada's. It was located by Crawley Square, and it just couldn't last without Bill and closed shortly after he died in 1999. And I know thousands of us have memories of it, or maybe this causes us to remember that old cafe in your hometown. That story was 31 years ago, and you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Good grief, I tell you. I'm looking at these things, and I'm going, what happened? <laughs> yeah, well, everybody has a famous old-time cafe. I remember, you know, the original pantry in downtown Los Angeles, oh, a place you're familiar with. They've never closed after decades and decades of serving. Yeah. No, that's the thing about these these places. And there was everyone, as I say, Governor Huntsman loved the place, all the way down to, well, there were some people that um, might have been partying a little bit. I was not one of those, but I did eat there a lot at about 2 in the morning. Open 24 hours. Oh, yeah. never closed. Wow. I don't even think there was a lock on the door. 